Man has always looked for solutions to problems, and especially for health problems. At first, we were at the mercy of the gods, then of one god. Then we invented the doctor, and finally, the specialist. We left the dark ages, and an opposite problem emerged. Knowledge became very complex. New difficulties appeared. Doctors couldn't memorize everything, nor could the patients, and compliance to treatment suffered. Medical treatment required the intervention of many people. Coordination was insufficient. Society evolved, and new misunderstandings emerged between healthcare actors. Resources were not unlimited, but expectations were. Healthcare quality was suboptimal. What were the new expectations? The healthcare professional wanted to find information on demand. Luckily enough, the patient also wanted to access knowledge and be a partner. Because when the patient didn't own her treatment recommendations, she couldn't put them into practice. Along came the internet and information for all. Physicians and other professionals, the patient. It was the you generation. Communication became 2.0 with the online communities, YouTube, Facebook, blogs. Patients like me, a significant American example, paved the way. Patient associations reached out to more members thanks to the web. And why not consult a physician via the Internet? It's happening in the US and Europe and elsewhere. American Well proposes video consultations online for the price of a low-cost consultation. Communication is also about the devices that communicate with one another to develop help for the dependent, such as robots and home care. All these technologies help track chronic patients. Take the example of the communicating defibrillator or pacemaker transmitting daily data. From now on, the guarantor of your health is you. The professional searches and finds answers. The patient is informed, discusses, and exchanges. Of course, it isn't perfect. Doctors fear the patient coming in with a pile of articles to their offices. To ensure the quality of information found on the web, the HON code was adopted in France by the government. More than ever, as says Dr. Ross Fletcher, director of the Veterans Hospital in Washington, D.C., the patient is the first member of the medical team. The Internet promotes the existence of a new relationship among people in healthcare as elsewhere. Communication is a major component of the medical revolution.